Makalele and uh, Makalele during the time of Makalele because they said um, the way I play um, looks the same as Makalele. So they sent me uh, thinking of replacing Makalele. So I was so I was very very happy when when I uh, I came back from holiday and my manager told me that Real Madrid wanted to sign me. So we went and signed uh, this thing and then they loaned me to to Leganes. So I was I was I was having was having uh, my moral very high Sorry. to be able to do things uh, well to come back. And before then, I was um, that season when I started with Leganes. I started with Leganes and um, Madrid were preparing to go to. I mean, we're preparing to go to a uh, distance to Japan for for preseason this thing. Right. So, um, and before then, um, things were going much better for me in Leganes. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to take to take me to to Japan with them. So they sent by then the Bosque, who was who was um, um, who was their uh, sports this thing director who was of of the Duvna side, yeah. So he was even present to see, to watch my match because right. that very much was um, was like a test for me. Okay. To to if you were, I was able to to I mean to do well in that game, mm -hmm. they were they were they were going to admit. So it was that very much. I had my injury. I mean oh. that injury. It was I was I was I was alone. I was alone. I was. Controlling a ball and when I was trying to turn, then I fall down. How how how, how difficult was that moment for you? Yeah, wait. Well, actually, when I, I fall down, even when I fall down, I thought I was it was not all that serious. But um, when I woke up and tried to to move, I realized that it was it was a very serious injury. So that moment, uh, I realized that things things were were going is going to go bad because. Mm -hmm. The moment, the moment I had the injury, I realized that I'm going to miss a lot of opportunities. So, to be part of the the, the team to to go to Japan, but all the same, I, I was still having hope that I will be able to to make it back. But unfortunately, I couldn't. I couldn't make it because after 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 um, um, after recovering from from the injury, yeah. first match. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, I mean, I fought back the same injury. I mean, I have to uh, go back to 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 hospital for 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 another operation. Right. The same injury, and the second one, the second operation was I had a lot of problems. I mean, I had a, a lot of problems in the, I mean, the operation room. So, right. Yeah, I first I went through, I went through a lot of, a lot of, I mean. And difficulties during during the, uh, those, uh, those days. Right, Baba. Let's let's talk about life after football now. How 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 has it been for you now that you know you 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 hung your boots a while ago? But how has it been? Yeah, thanks God. Thanks God. Things are moving very good for me because, um, like I told you first, um, this the, these guys who who brought me here, who brought me here still. I mean, they have taken me as part of their their family. So. Anything I want, they, they they provide for me. So they they were the uh, people who who introduced me to to the place I'm working now. I mean, um, uh, for Navarra, for Navarra, they introduced me to to them. And to be frankly speaking, I hear for Navarra, they they receive they receive me as part of the 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 team. I mean, part of the the family as part of part of them and. I'm, I'm really doing very good there, even though I'm working as a, a material responsible this thing yeah. uh, of the club, yeah. but they still um, respect me as a, as, as, a, as a professional player who who I used to be. Yeah. They don't treat me as such like a, this thing. And I'm, I had a lot of responsibility in this club. Yeah. Now, um, Baba, you were, you were once a, a chauffeur for David De Gea. Uh, what kind of person is he, and how was that job like? Yeah, um, that of the and the hair um, came when I when I first hung my my boots. 
when I hang my boot, uh, my manager was was also the same manager with um, the hair. Yeah. So the hair was uh, was was the, by that, by then seventeen years, and here seventeen years they, they don't allow them to. I mean, it was not having uh, driving license. So I mean, my manager decided that um, it would be very good if I'm not doing anything because since I've hung my boot and I'm I'm in the house. I can take that opportunity to to work with the here. So he talked to um, um, Atletico Madrid, mm -hmm. and they, they came to the conclusion that they will give me a contract so that I will I will pick him up with my car to to, to the training to training grounds. And he was also um, studying at um, a school very close to okay to to my place where where I live. Okay. So I decided to to take that opportunity and to be frankly speaking, at that time, at that age, so it was 17 years. I was uh, very great to to have um, um, goalkeeper who is now one of the best players in, great in the world. Baba, a very last question to you. What what are you most grateful for? Uh, your life as a footballer. What are you most grateful for? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm grateful because um, through through football, uh, I've been able to, I mean, get what I need. Right. What I need, and I'm able to to help um, some people who are who are very close to me. I mean, it has helped me a lot. I mean, to have helped me a lot to 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 allow my my family not to have. I mean. That kind of pressure. I mean, that kind of pressure. Um, you all know what. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But thanks God, thanks God, all these things are not. I'm not facing that kind of uh, um, problem. Even though it's a store, um, you know, the problem of Ghana will not always right. And that's right. Thank God, I'm very grateful about. It. Uh, thank you so much, and Yasmin and Ayodeji. You are still there. Thank you also for uh, giving us this opportunity to do this interview.